Another thing we hear and we heard about uh, uh, how, what women make. Well, uh, you know, they make 77 cents on a dollar less. Well, did you know there's a study uh, by Dr. Uh, Warren Farrell that when you take all var variables into account, for example, actual hours worked, experience, work hazards, commute distance, and performance evaluations, for the same work, women make more than men. You see, women usually don't want to work as hard as a man because, I mean, now get me, wait a minute, now listen to me. Women, hang on, women are, th tend to think a little bit more about their family, wanting to be at home more time, wanting to have a little more leisure time. That's all I mean. I'm not saying women don't work hard. I think women work very hard, so don't take that the wrong way. But that's, that's factors you have to keep in mind. Okay, women like to uh, be willing to have uh, uh, a moderate work life with plenty of time for spouse and children and other things like that. That's all I meant, okay? They work very hard, but sometimes they aren't willing to commit their whole life to their job like a lot of men do. That's all I meant by that, so. All right, and we talk about uh, discrimination. There are 59%, our colleges are made up of 59% of women only 41 percent of men and most of those a, a lot of those are well I'll just stop there there's more women in college than there is men a thing just came out the other day that said for the first time ever women with advanced degrees have passed men so there's all kinds of opportunity there all I'm trying to say is is we live in a nation that gives equal opportunity we should not expect equal results and uh, I think affirmative action in the past has tried to give equal results to those who, uh, uh, other than, how, am I, how can I say this? They're trying to get, it's trying to give equal results rather than equal opportunity. So we live in the greatest nation in the world, and I firmly believe you can become everything you want to be if you're willing to work hard, uh, do we all have setbacks? Yes, but no excuses. I don't think Martin Luther King would want color, as he said about his children. He wanted the content of their character, not the color of their skin to count. And so I think we need to keep in mind that this bill is about trying to make a level playing field. Will we ever get it? I don't think we will, like I said, as long as we live in this, this sinful world. But everybody should have the opportunity to advance as, as long as they're willing to work hard, have personal initiative, and it shouldn't depend upon what sex you are or what color you are. We ought to be colorblind, and we ought to be willing to give everybody a chance to become everything that they desire to be. But it's going to take some sweat. It's going to take some effort. And um, I think there are plenty of studies that show Affirmative action has not been what is needed to really help people lift themselves up. So anyway, I've said enough, and uh, yes, that's fine. So uh, I encourage you to vote for this bill. Thank you.